So the line literally goes down to the end of the block. So the line literally goes down to the end of the block. Chaos is ensuing. Mmm. Mmm. It's sweet, sour. Oh man. Oh man. Alright, so it's time I think to go check out that restaurant that my host recommended. And I hope it's still open because it's two o'clock and I have a really bad habit of eating around two or three o'clock when everybody's taking their break and then I don't get to eat for a while. So fingers crossed it's open. Oh yeah, also the old street will be open anyways. So if anything, we're gonna go there. So we're just gonna eat all day. We're just gonna eat all day. So the line literally goes down to the end of the block. I have no idea how I'm gonna order because uh, my translator was like putting things in the wrong direction. So we're just gonna figure it out. That wasn't so bad. I just took the picture and I said one of every bag, like Ika Baba. So easy. We waited like, I don't know, good 20 minutes for this. So let's see how it's gonna be. Oh. So I just went and like recklessly ordered all five of the flavors because I don't know what to expect. Um, it's, a, it's a high pressure situation when there's so many people. So I'm just like, just give me one of everything. Yes, please stand right there. is ensuing so we've got all the kinds here um the universe really just is not letting up these days so yeah i got five did use google translate to kind of figure out at least like to make sure i didn't accidentally order a bunch of soy milk or something but we're gonna check this out um something raw it's got meat in it oh the bread is very soft not the the bread isn't super flavorful but inside it's delicious on to number two this one doesn't have a label on it mm, mysterious oh i think this is a scallion more tangy not as sweet as the other one but great you guys know what i'm grateful for is the fact that i love food and i'm not picky about it Obviously, if somebody's like a vegetarian or a vegan, that's a great choice for you and I'm glad that you've done that. Someday I hope to be more into that transition, but I do believe that as I'm just traveling the world, there's so many foods that are out there to enjoy. But I can't imagine like traveling all the time and being a picky eater and then not even be able to read a menu. Like you can't, that, that sounds too difficult. You just gotta go with the flow, you guys, and try what is out there. And speaking of which, we have another. Set. Oh wow, this one's really pretty. It's like a, it's like a leaf. Oh, it is sweet. Ah, why? I want to say it's red bean, but I don't think it. I don't know. It's very dark. It's very dark bean. It's good. We're gonna save it for later. Next one. I think we have the two meat ones, so we have two more veg. Mmm. 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 It is really flavorful. It is really good. I love how there's like some juice that's absorbing into the bun. I mean, it's happening with every one of them, but it's it's really good with this. It's sweet, sour. Oh man, oh man. And we got our final one. And I swear if this car goes off again, because it just went off when I wasn't filming, it's going four for four, I guess. The sesame seeds are not, are these ones toasted? I think toasted sesame seeds, I don't know. Let's just eat it. Mm. 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 
So the last one was more intense, more flavorful with the vegetables. This is very mild. This is cabbage, quite basic, nothing crazy. It is good, but I'm definitely, I think my favorite one was the, the really green veg. That was good. And then the meat scallion, incredible. I think this is where it all goes down hill for me. I just ate, I'm about to finish this. I just ate five of those buns in one sitting. I mean, because I wanted to try them all, but like, well, you know, I, I just want to eat them all. You can't help but not eat them all. They're fresh. You got to eat them all at once. But like, I, if you guys haven't noticed, I've lost a lot of weight. After I left Taiwan, I lost 10 kilos, 10 kilos, yo. And I wasn't always eating the healthiest, but I think there's certain things in food here, particularly maybe like soy, which is not very good for somebody with a thyroid condition. I'm sure there was a lot of maybe things that are common in the food here that were making my weight gain like really worse. But we're back. So this, this time I gotta figure something out because we cannot have this happen again. As I continue to eat. <laughs> So this is uh, Jinhan Old Street, or we're approaching it. It looks pretty calm. You got, you know, some fruit, food, sandals. Insane. This is insane. Like, look at how many people there are. Like, I've been in a lot of night markets and, you know, stuff like that. But I feel like this is the one of the busiest streets, like market streets I have been on in Taiwan. I don't know, you guys name some other ones that are super busy, but this is insane to me. There's so much food, but I don't think I can justify eating more. I just, I don't, I can't do that to my body, you guys. I can't do it. But maybe I'll come back over the weekend, because as I mentioned earlier, it's the last day of the holiday. So I can come back over the weekend because I don't know. I don't know if it's busy like this all the time. Honestly, I don't know. But it's insane how many people are here. Oh, it looks so yummy. No, I really need someone to travel with because a lot of the food I eat, it's just so big. Like those cakes look delicious, but it's freaking giant. I don't need a giant cake to eat. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's a temple, but it's interesting because it has like a curved end to it, which I've never seen before. I mean, I don't, I don't know. So I don't think, it, I don't know if it's a temple. I don't think it's a temple. It looks like people live here. Give me your input, please, because I'm not sure. It's a very cool building though, wow. Okay, guys, so thank you so much for watching my first kind of day exploring Jinshan. In the next video, we're going up to the scenic area. Um, I hope you enjoyed my, my first day just out kind of trying and doing fun things. And I will see you next time. Peace.